what I find to be an interesting debate that I guess I'm curious in a way to hear yours is that, you know, people were hyping up the debut of Julia, hyping up the debut of Stephanie Vacor. Now we're hyping up the debut of Delta. And there were people on Twitter talking about, oh, wow, you know, WWE really hit it out of the park with the women's division and these new signings. And then the AEW tribalists are being like, haha, none of you even knew who these women were. Meanwhile, AEW has, you know, Mercedes and they have blah, 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 whoever. Right. And trying to say that like WWE didn't win the like batch of free agency. I would, I would disagree because I don't think it matters if you are super familiar with who these signings were or their careers. For the most part, you've probably heard of them. You know, like I had heard, I ha- I can't tell you I've heard of Delta because I didn't, but I had heard of Stephanie Vacor. I had heard of Julia and I'm not claiming to be a fan, but it's kind of like anytime a wrestling company signs a big name, that was in the indies or in the smaller promotions, you understand how significant it is, even if you're not familiar with their work. So to me, I'm like, I get why people who watch AEW would say AEW did better, but I don't think signing Mercedes trumps the three women that they just got in WWE. And I'll take it to the men's side as well. You know, with them, with AEW getting Okada and Will Ospreay. Huge, huge NXT gets or WWE gets Ethan Page as their male guy. Motor City Machine Guns m- well, it hasn't happened yet. I know, I'm but so, it's coming on SmackDown. I know, I know. I, I that could be my rosebud, but here the champ, we speak in the now. All right, I don't want to get my hopes up. I know it's pretty much slapping me across the face, um, or pointing at me in my mm-hmm. face, you know, but I, I'll go back to my original, the, the original question debate that you said, I'm going to equivocate this to sports. All right. In a language that a majority of people speak, you know, when they have the free agency and there's always that number one guy, it doesn't mm-hmm. matter who it just, that's the number one guy. That's whoever wants. That's where all the news is going towards. When that team signs him, it's the greatest thing ever. And it's all the focus on him. And all the focus comes on him throughout the season as well. All right? But does it really pan out? Yeah, maybe for the star itself. But does the team do better? Mm-hmm. You know? No. The signings that WWE are making are great team signings. Mm-hmm. You know, if someone tells – if someone says to you, oh, you – you don't know Julia, so you can't be excited. Or, you know, you haven't yeah. seen her classic matches. No, but you're a wrestling fan on the internet. That's the next level of wrestling fandom. So you've seen her highlights. You've seen people talk about her. You yeah. know what she looks like. You know, there's instances like that. That's all you need as a wrestling fan is to be familiar with it. Because once you're familiar with it, that's WWE's job is to bring that person there so that you become that person that is like, oh, well, you can't say that you're a fan of her. I've seen all her matches in WWE. They're great. Like, I've watched every nut. It's like, no, but there's another level to it where you have the fan of her. Like, mm-hmm. there's levels to all of this. And WWE played it so well by playing the quality over quantity signings. Mm-hmm. Well, it, I think also, like... Especially Mercedes. God, after. I can't. I, I'm so over her in AEW. And it, the Sasha Banks stink or scent, whatever you want to call it, it's kind of faded for me. You know, like, yeah, she's great. Well, she's just trying to be an elevated version of Sasha Banks, which is but just ironic. Great but with, it's, I love Sasha. It's just ironic because of how much she shit on WWE and Sasha Banks, but whatever. Um, no, it's, it's like, I do literally th- tell she's not the best horsewoman. Yes. Um, but I, yeah, I think that WWE did more of like the um, immediate and long term beneficial signings, you know, instead of trying to do the flashiest of all, because it's like, yeah, Mercedes going to AEW was a Flash huge a deal. But like, you know, with WWE, it's like Julia going was a big deal, but 
it, for American fans, it might not be considered as big of a deal as they are with Mercedes. But Julia is going to be around for a long time and is going to have a bigger like global impact on WWE than Mercedes is. So it's like what they were doing is it's it's I don't know. I think that they're doing better. It started with the Jade. Yeah, the Jade Cargo signing was massive. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're just doing, they continue to do it. So if we're talking about like free agency, WWE mm-hmm. won. 